Hello again. We grow our own veggies and strawberries and blueberries and raspberries and all sorts of other things. So we're getting a big supply of berries at the moment because they're only just coming into season. So we're making strawberry mousse. I decided the other day I'd experiment, so I quickly whipped this up. It probably took me oh, less than five minutes to make, but because I'm going to waffle on, it'll take a little bit longer. Um, so what I've done here is uh, with our strawberries, I've just taken the tops off. They're nice and soft and they're delicious. They smell good too. So there's about 125 grams of strawberries here. I'm going to put uh, 125 grams of Philadelphia or cream cheese in a bowl. You'll remember from previous videos, I don't really weigh much or measure things properly. I just guesstimate everything. But I will today. So I've got a bowl here. Reset the scales. And I'll put about... 125 grams of cream cheese and I'll just chop it up in small bits it'll make it easier to mix and a bit more all right so there's about 130 grams, but my recipe is just going to say 125 grams. Do you wonder why I took from both ends? It's so that I can actually close the packet properly without the air getting into it and drying it out. Alright, so I've got 125 grams of cream cheese. This is the cream that we use in the house. It's really nice with our coffees, Western Star, get it from IGA. I think Woolies and Coles have a home brand version. If you look for a bottle with a blue lid, it's very similar. Anyway. Now, I'm going to put in about, I'm measuring this in weight rather than mils because it's easier and I don't have to mess up another container because then I have to scoop all the liquid out. So I'm just going to put about 100 grams worth of liquid in here. Seems like a lot, doesn't it? But it's nice. And high fat, low carb is what we want. So cream cheese and cream. And I'm going to just give that a bit of a mix. strawberries in now so I'm going to use my other blender because that'll actually chop up the berries while I'm mixing. So I'm going to throw all the berries into this mixture here so all it is in there is the Philadelphia cheese and some cream. I could have chopped the berries up but I'm lazy. Got a machine to do it all for me. Now you're going to want to taste this, I think, um, because it'll depend on your own sweetness desire, won't it? Um, I can eat it quite like this without adding any sugar to it or sweetener to it. So just have a taste. And I think it tastes really nice as is. Um, if you want to, you can add a little bit. I might just put, I don't even know why I'm going to, but I might just put a little bit. Of, probably half a teaspoon. And depending on how sweet your strawberries are too, this is going to vary every time you make it. 
if you're anything like me, and you vary your ingredients, it's going to change all the time. Hey, I think that's actually nice. A bit nicer with a little bit of um, sweetener in there. So the one of my choice is nap beer. Supposed to be organic with stevia and something else. I don't know. But I really like this. It doesn't have any sickly aftertaste. So okay, I'm going to put this into four bowls. Um, so yeah, 125 grams of strawberries, 125 grams of cream and 100 grams of, no, 100 grams of cream, 125 grams of cream cheese and a little tiny bit of sweetener. And that's all it is. And it'll serve four. So there we have it, four bowls of raspberry mousse. I'll stick this in the fridge um, and once it's cooled it'll set a little bit, it'll go a little bit more solid um, and probably an hour in the fridge and put some cream over the top of it and it is delicious. Now if you wanted to you could use uh, coconut oil instead of cream, it'll probably when you put it in the fridge it'll actually set more solid. The other thing you can to do is turn it into a, um, add, add a little bit of gelatin and it'll be a nice cheesecake mix. But I'll do that with a cheesecake recipe that I actually have for raspberries and I'll show you how to do that some other time. But for now we have strawberry mousse. Hope you enjoy it. So dessert's ready and it's set nicely so it's not going to go anywhere. Um, what you can do, this is exactly like a, um, a yogurt, so you can have it as a strawberry yogurt for breakfast or just as a strawberry mousse. If you want to have a yogurt, I've got another YouTube video that's got, um, I think it's my Keto Paleo Nut Mix and that's really, really nice as a muesli substitute. So you could put some cream on top of here and, and some nut mix or even just have it as like a strawberry yogurt with a nut mix on top. Enjoy it for breakfast. But we've just had our dinner bit full at the moment so we're going to enjoy this for dessert a little bit later on and all I'm going to do is just put some cream over the top of it and if I feel like it I'll put some nuts on it but that's it for now so strawberry mousse or strawberry yogurt substitute um, enjoy it <laughs> 